good morning students myself vijay shankar from ec department chapel engineering college today we are going to discuss about the the topic uh, magneto magnetic flux density and its applications magnetic flux density and its applications in the coaxial cable and different applications we have by using the ampere's circuit law <coughs> applicate applications of uh, flux density and flux to the coaxial cable see consider here a coaxial cable we already discussed about this uh, coaxial cable with the inside there is an uh, a radius and with the b radius uh, the current is passes through the z axis of a and uh, the current is passes through the outermost uh, the circle uh, minus i we derive this expression by taking of uh, a is greater than or a is less than or less than b okay so first of all consider a gaussian surface uh, a gaussian surface the dotted line shows the inside the radius uh, a and uh, with the radius of b in between there is a gaussian surface of uh, radius r we can consider the radius of uh, inner conductor is a while the inner radius of outer conductor is a b you see consider here in this coaxial cable a solid uh, circle with the radius of a and the remaining the p circle and the c circle a having flow of current i and outermost uh, circle with the radius of c the minus i the opposite current is flows so the gaussian surface we considered in between of uh, the p and a the radius of inner conductor is a while the inner radius of outer conductor is a p it carries a direct current i to see here it carries a direct current i okay which is uniformly distributed in the inner conductor which is uniformly distributed in the inner conductor the outer conductor carries uh, the same current i in opposite direction the outer conductor carries the same current uh, in opposite direction the current i is in the z axis the positive direction and the outermost current the direction is opposite current <clears throat> so we derive the expression for this in the range of r is in between of a and b in between of a and b is a current carrying conductor with the infinite infinite current passes through that conductor h bar is equal to i by 2 pi r into a phi bar Okay, that is a one of the first h bar due to the infinite straight long conductor. <coughs> we derive the h bar is equal to i by the two pi r is similar to that. H bar is equal to i by the two pi r into a phi bar, and the b bar is equal to mu naught into h bar. That is a mu naught into i by the two pi r into a phi bar. According to the gas law of a magnetic field gas law of the magnetic field the phi is equal to b bar dot ds bar b bar dot ds bar okay the h bar magnetic field intensity or the magnetic field strength h bar we already derived h bar due to the a long straight conductor carrying current i the conductor is a here and the gaussian surface is in between of a and b h bar is equal to i by the 2 pi r into a phi bar minus 
so by the relation of the magnetic flux and the magnetic field v bar is equal to mu naught into i by the 2 pi r i by the 2 pi r into a phi bar according to the gas law of magnetic field phi is equal to b bar dot ds bar where the b bar is uh, mu naught i by the 2 pi r into a phi bar a phi bar and the r is placed the radially from the r is equal to a to the r is equal to p for that uh, z is equal to 0 to the z is equal to t the distance in the z axis is the t only okay then what is a ds bar already we got the b bar is equal to mu naught by the 2 pi r into a phi bar the ds bar is equal to along the phi direction the differential surface area normal to the phi direction of a cylindrical coordinate system ds bar is equal to dr into ds bar is equal to it is our ds phi bar is equal to simply saying dr dz and a phi bar so now we have the b bar is there along the phi direction and differential surface area along the phi direction substitute in the gauss law of magnetic field integral b b is a mu naught i by the 2 pi r i by the 2 pi r into a phi bar is there multiplying with dr dz dr dz a phi bar and a phi bar is both are the zeros here the integral with respect to the r and with respect to the z what is it with respect to r a to b or r is equal to a to b and with respect to the z is also there so integral z is equal to so actually r is varies from the zero to infinite z is varies from minus infinite to infinite but here in this uh, the z is equal to zero to t and r is varies from the a to b what it modulation so the mu naught i by the 2 pi r mu naught i by the 2 pi r not the 2 pi r 2 pi only the constant and the phi is equal to this integral 1 by r into dr with the a and the b another integral is there z is equal to 0 to d dz okay so what is a 1 by r is nothing but the integral of 1 by r is a ln of r ln of r therefore the phi is equal to after applying the integral mu naught i by 2 pi into ln of upper limit is a b and lower limit is a a will get a b by a ln of b by a and for the second integral integral dz is a z t minus a will get the d got it by so therefore the phi is equal to the mu i d by mu i d by the 2 pi ln of b by a ln of b by a the phi is magnetic flux Weber's. so we got the phi is equal to mu naught i d by the 2 pi into ln of b by a the Weber's. the magnetic flux b bar and the differential surface area normal to the phi direction for the coaxial cable the magnetic flux phi we got the mu naught i d by the 2 pi ln of b by e next is a it's a very important topic the magnetic scalar and the vector potential or magnetic scalar and magnetic vector we know the gradient of V in electrostatics, it is seen there exists a scalar electric potential, a scalar electric potential V, which is related to the electric field intensity E bar is equal to minus del V is the gradient of V. 
is there any scalar potential in magnetostatics related to the magnetic field intensity h bar the scalar magnetic potential is vm uh, and uh, vector magnetic potential is a bar remember my dear students here scalar magnetic potential and vector magnetic potential scalar magnetic potential is a vm where m is representing as a magnetic field for electrostatics v is the scalar magnetic so scalar potential here the electric potential v here scalar magnetic potential electric potential is a v scalar magnetic potential is therefore denoted as a vm vector magnetic potential is e bar so vector means the bar is represented to define the scalar and vector potential let us use the two vector identities two vector identities from the properties of the curl del cross del v is equal to zero del dot del cross e bar divergence and the curl is both are with the same we will get the zero we here the v is a scalar and e bar is a vector these two will get from the one of the properties of the curl function my dear students as we have in the electric scalar electric potential v in the magnetic also in the magnetostatics also there is a scalar magnetic potential which is denoted by the vm and vector magnetic potential denoted as a bar why is in the two relations one is for the scalar and for one is a vector we can use a properties of the curl functions del cross del v is equal to 0 del dot del cross e bar is equal to 0 where v is a scalar and e bar is a vector first of all you can take the scalar magnetic potential scalar magnetic potential from the curl properties del cross del vm is equal to 0 where vm is a scalar magnetic potential scalar magnetic potential as in the electrostatics uh, there is a gradient of v v bar is equal to minus del v where v is the scalar electric potential for magnetic also h bar is equal to minus del v and this not the v we can represent it as a vm scalar magnetic potential so but the scalar magnetic potential is related to the magnetic field intensity where vm is a scalar magnetic potential so h bar is equal to minus del vm okay we wrote the gradient of e for the electric field and the magnetic fields following my dear students now we can substitute uh, from one of the property of the curl function del cross del vm is equal to 0 what is a del vm is nothing but in terms of the magnetic field minus h bar so del cross minus h bar is equal to 0 that is a del cross h bar is equal to 0 But according to the Maxwell second equation, Maxwell second equation, what they're saying that it is a integral h bar dot dl bar amperes circuit law. What is amperes circuit law? H bar dot dl bar is equal to I. I is nothing but n close or I n close. What is I n close in terms of the current density J bar dot ds bar? J bar dot ds bar. So convert the left hand side the line integral to the surface integral. Line integral is converted the surface integral is at del cross h bar dot ds bar. Okay, on both sides is a dot product and with the surface integral. So del cross h bar is equal to, is a one of the Maxwell's equation. Del cross h bar is equal to j bar. we got the del cross h bar is equal to j bar means using this relation comparing this relation maxwell's equation del cross h bar is equal to 0 and here the del cross h bar is equal to j bar means j bar is equal to 
current density is zero. So J bar is zero. What is my difference? Then does the scalar magnetic potential Vm can be defined for the source free region where J bar current density is zero. So H bar is equal to minus del Vm only for the J bar is equal to zero. Therefore, call the ampere circuit law. Not the ampere circuit law. Potential in the electroelectric field, scalar potential in the electric field is E bar dot A. DL bar is equal to minus E bar dot DL bar is equal to the V. So similarly, that V is nothing but the scalar electric potential. Now, scalar magnetic potential I am assuming as a Vm, not assuming it is a Vm only. So, integral instead of electric, uh, the magnetic field H bar dot DL bar minus, therefore, the integral H bar dot uh, DL bar minus is equal to the Vm. It's from A to B or the B to A. So, B is a second point and A is a point. Okay. Similar to the relation between the E bar and the electric potential, electric scalar potential, magnetic scalar potential can be expressed in terms of H bar is Vm is equal to minus B to A H bar dot DL bar. Got it, my dear students. From the gradient of V and the potential of uh, electric field, we got the magnetic potential, the scalar magnetic potential, and magnetic scalar potential. Whatever it is, uh, both are the same. Following, my dear students. The Laplace equation for scalar magnetic potential. You can derive. A Laplace equation for the scalar magnetic potential. What is a scalar magnetic potential means Vm. Vector magnetic potential means A bar. Laplace equation, del square V is equal to zero in electric electrostatic. Del square V is equal to zero. Now here also del square V is a scalar electric potential what is the magnetic scalar potential or scalar magnetic potential Vm? So you can derive the Laplace equation is del square Vm is equal to zero. Del square Vm is equal to zero. Okay. So by using the gas law of a magnetic field for monopole, this is a one of the Maxwell's equation for monopole. For magnetic field, there is no non-existing. Non so integral B bar dot ds bar is equal to phi. There is no any flux because it's a no monopole. Phi is equal to zero. Using the divergence theorem, using the divergence theorem, the uh, surface integral is converted to the volume integral. Integral B bar dot ds bar is a, one of the Maxwell's equation. Or we can also call it as a gas law of magnetic field. V bar dot ds bar is equal to. It is converted to the volume integral. Surface integral is converted to the volume integral means a dot product. Del dot B bar into dv is equal to zero. Means del dot B bar is equal to zero is a point form of the differential form of the Maxwell's equation. The integral form of the Maxwell's equation and the point form of the Maxwell's equation. Del dot V bar is equal to zero. So what is a del dot V bar? V bar in terms of H bar, mu naught into H bar is equal to zero. So mu naught is the constant. Okay, so mu naught is not at all equal to the zero. So del cross, mu naught is a constant means you can write it outside del dot uh, h bar is equal to zero so here the mu naught is not at all equal to the zero because it's a four point and the power of minus uh, seven so only in this function the del cross h bar is equal to zero 
del graph h bar is equal to zero. What is a h bar? H bar we know h bar is equal to from the gradient of e minus del vm minus del vm substitute that del dot h bar h bar is minus del vm is equal to zero okay so del dot del vm is del minus del square vm is equal to zero so, so remove that minus also because the right hand side is a zero only del square vm is equal to zero del square vm is equal to zero here that is is equal to zero when the current density j bar is equal to zero already we proved so therefore the laplace equation del square vm is equal to zero that laplace equation for scalar magnetic potential nothing but vm only scalar magnetic potential the poisson's equation is there the poisson's equation is derived by using the vector magnetic potential okay now you can see the second uh, next part uh, see this is the laplace equation of the scalar magnetic potential this is similar to the laplace equation for the scalar electric potential what is electric potential del square v is equal to zero where v is the scalar electric potential where vm is the scalar magnetic potential what it matters folks don't confuse or listen carefully and vector magnetic potential the second uh, property of the curl function and divergence with curl is always a zero where a bar is vector magnetic potential vector magnetic potential that is one of the property we can take uh, del dot del cross a bar is equal to zero divergence of curl is always a zero so del dot uh, i write this as a b bar is equal to zero so del dot b bar is equal to zero is one of the maxwell's equation in the point form what is a b bar is nothing but here b bar is equal to del cross a bar del cross a bar okay the curl of vector potential is the flux density see the one of the maxwell's equation del cross uh, ampere circuit law del cross h bar is equal to j bar you derive this equation from the h bar dot dl bar is equal to i enclosed where i is integral j bar dot ds bar and in h bar dot dl bar is converted into the surface integral by using the curl function del cross h bar dot ds bar so del cross h bar is equal to j bar so del cross h bar in terms of the b is b bar by the mu naught is equal to j bar okay my dear students by using this relation b bar is equal to mu naught into h bar del cross 1 by mu naught is a constant that is take and del cross del cross j bar b bar you can i am substituting as del cross del cross j bar let it's a mu naught is multiplied here mu naught into j bar so this also you can expand is one of the property of curl function del cross del cross e bar is equal to one of the property del cross del cross e bar is equal to is del of del dot e bar using the vector identity can express the left hand side we can write we can write as del cross del cross e bar is equal to del of del dot e bar minus del square a bar is equal to mu not into j bar mu not into j bar got it my students at j bar is equal to del dot del cross a bar so del dot a bar already the del dot b bar is equal to 0 
as a b we can consider here it is a vector only the a bar is the same as a vector magnetic potential is known then the current density j bar can be obtained for defining a bar the current density need not be the zero the current density need not be the zero so the delta t a bar the term what we have it becomes a zero here okay the zero means uh, the first term is a zero minus del square a bar del square a bar is equal to mu not into j bar okay according to the del dot b bar as of del dot a bar it can come substitute as a zero it becomes a zero minus del square a bar or del square a bar del square a bar is equal to minus mu not into j bar minus mu not into z bar so when whenever we can substitute this value as uh, zero we get the poisson's equation here poisson's equation see the poisson's equation del square a bar is equal to minus mu not into z bar in a vector algebra a vector can be fully defined if its curl and divergence are defined For a vector magnetic potential a bar, its curl defined as del cross a bar is equal to b bar, which is known. But to completely define a bar, its divergence must be known. Assume that del dot a bar, the divergence of a bar is zero. The divergence of a bar is zero. That only I substitute here. Del dot uh, del of del dot a bar is equal to zero. Understood, my dear son. Therefore, the J bar is equal to one by mu naught into minus del square V bar, del dot A bar after substitute. Del square A bar is equal to minus mu naught into J bar. This is a Poisson's equation for magnetic uh, magnetostatic field. Got it, my dear students? Del square V M is a Poisson's, not the Poisson's equation, the Laplace equation. Del square V M is equal to zero. Where V M is the scalar magnetic potential, and similarly the del square A bar is equal to minus mu naught into Z bar. Here, where A bar is the vector magnetic potential, you get the Poisson's equation. This or Poisson's equation. This one is the Laplace equation. Laplace equation. What it matters to us? Laplace equation for scalar magnetic potential and Poisson's equation for the ma vector magnetic potential. Got it? And see the A bar is a differential current element. A bar is a differential current element. A bar is equal to P divided by H bar is equal to I D L bar cross I D L bar cross E R bar by the four pi R square and uh, similarly the H bar is for the surface I or the I K bar cross D S bar. By the four pi r square into e r bar, or the r bar k r bar cross e r bar into d s as a surface integral. This was the line integral. H bar is equal to integral j bar dot j bar cross e r bar all divided by the four pi r square into d. So all we know. When we considered a bar due to the differential current element, a bar due to the differential current element, consider the differential element dl dl bar carrying a current. Then, according to the Biot-Sivert's law, the vector magnetic potential a bar at a distance from the differential current element is given by a bar is equal to integral mu naught into i dl bar by the four pi r vapor per meter. And this is a ampere per meter. 
ए बार इज अ वेक्टर मैग्नेटिक पोटेंशियल एंड सिमिलरली इट इज कन्वर्ट इन टू द सरफेस इंटीग्रल आल्सो ए बार इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट इनटू के बार डीएस बाय द 4 पाई आर वेपर पर मीटर एंड सिमिलरली इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ए बार इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल म्यू नॉट जे बार डीबी बाय 4 पाई आर ओके Now the new topic we can we are going to the new topic that uh, is the magnetic force and the materials of the inductance. Okay, force on a moving point charge. Force on a moving point charge. See what is the electric field intensity? That is the relation between the force per unit. Uh, charge is nothing but electric field intensity f bar e bar is equal to e bar electric field intensity e bar is equal to force per unit charge f bar by the q or what is a q f bar is equal to q into e bar f is nothing but the force so newtons since it is for the electric field intensity Can represent F E bar is equal to Q into E bar. Okay, for a positive charge, the force exerted on it it is in the direction of E bar. This force is also referred as electric force F E bar. Okay, now consider that the charge is placed in a steady magnetic field. Now take the same charge and is placed in a steady magnetic field it experiences a force only if it is moving then the magnetic force fm bar exerted on the charge q moving with the velocity moving with the velocity v bar in a steady magnetic field v bar is given by fm bar is equal to q into v bar cross v bar v bar cross V bar. Following my distance, the force, electric field, or electric force F E bar is equal to Q into E bar, and magnetic field. The same charge is placed in a steady magnetic field. We'll get Q into V bar cross V bar. Hence, the magnitude of magnetic. Uh, force f bar is directly proportional to the magnitudes of q v bar and the v bar and also the sine of an angle between of v bar and v bar so actually it is a q into the magnitude of v magnitude of b into sine theta okay the magnetic force is directly proportional to the magnitudes of uh, q v bar and v bar and also the sine of angle between the v bar and the v bar so what is the equation v bar cross v bar is equal to v bar cross uh, see it is not the potential my dear student so can write is a small v V bar cross V bar is equal to the magnitude of V bar, magnitude of V bar into sine. It is a dot product means cos theta. Okay, so the force or magnetic force E F M is equal to Q into V bar cross V bar in terms of the newtons. Okay, the electric force and the magnetic force. Now combining the Electric force and the magnetic force. See here, the F bar is equal to the charge Q is placed here. There is a V bar here and F M bar. In between, there is a with an angle of a theta. There is a V bar. So the magnitude of V bar and the V bar with this sine theta is nothing but V bar cross V bar. V bar cross V bar. Okay. Now combining the two functions, uh, the total force on a moving charge in the presence of both 
electric and the magnetic fields is given by polymer distance. See, the V is not the potential velocity of the moving charge. Q into both the functions having the Q is a common term is a E bar plus V bar cross V bar Newtons. We know one of the equation F bar is equal to MBA, where A is an acceleration. In terms of the velocity, the change of velocity with respect to the time M into dB by dt, that is equal to Q into E bar plus V bar cross V bar. If the mass of the charge in meters, we can write as F bar is equal to M into A bar, M into A bar, that is M into dB bar by dt, Q into, this is equal to the Q into E bar plus V bar cross V bar, M A bar is equal to Q into E bar plus V bar cross V bar. Okay, is the introduction for the mass. So applying the differentiation on both sides, uh, the Tf is equal to Tq V bar cross V bar. Got it by this point. We know one of the equations J bar is equal to rho V into V bar. We derive this expression in the electrostatics. J bar is equal to rho V into V, the velocity, drift velocity. Tq is equal to rho V into dV. The change of charge with respect to the volume is charge density, volume charge density, rho V. Okay. Substituting in the dQ is equal to rho V into dV, V bar cross V bar. Okay. Expressing the dF bar is equal to rho v into v bar see here the rho v into v bar is nothing but j bar so i will explain here again so d f bar is equal to or f bar is equal to first of all you can see here the f bar is equal to nothing but fm bar minus two into force on a differential current element q into v bar the velocity cross with the density the magnetic force flux density. Apply the differentiation on both sides. So D F bar is equal to D Q into V bar cross V bar. What is the D Q in terms of the volume charge density? Rho V into D V V bar cross V bar. Okay. That is equal to Rho V into V bar is a volume and that is a velocity. Okay. Cross V bar into dV is a volume. What is a rho V into V bar? The rho V into V bar is a J bar. Therefore, D, the differential force, the magnetic force Df bar is equal to J bar cross V bar into dv okay j bar cross v bar into dv that only they write the different df bar is equal to j bar into dv world modestance we know the ideal bar as we wrote that is ideal bar is equal to k bar into ds that is equal to j bar into dv J bar into D. So J bar cross B bar into DV. So J bar into DV is nothing but near the K bar into DS. So the DF bar is equal to, you can also write it as in terms of the surface, K bar cross B bar into DS. Okay, this is differential surface, differential volume, and similarly in the differential length. DL bar. So DF bar is equal to the I is always uh, multiplying this D I DL bar cross V bar DF bar is equal. So in terms of uh, volume DV and in terms of the 
differential surface or surface current density and the differential current element uh, IDL bar. So applying the integral on both sides, uh, the first equation here, F bar is equal to, is the volume integral, volume integral J bar cross B bar. Volume integral J bar cross B bar. Similarly, the F bar is equal to surface integral here there is k bar cross b bar into ds and line integral f bar is equal to i dl bar cross b bar. This is all the equations for the volume integral, surface integral and the line integral minus two. Okay, this is for line integral. This is for surface and this is for the volume integral or the differential force. So F bar is equal to line integral of I dl bar cross B bar and F bar is equal to I L bar cross B bar. If the conductor is a tight and the field B bar is a uniform long along it, uh, then integration equation becomes uh, the I L bar cross B bar only. When L bar cross B bar is the magnitude of L and the magnitude of B into sine theta, the cross product. F is equal to I L B sine theta. Got it, Madison? Reminding the force between the currents and the element between the light. 